where the war in Iraq began based on lies, based on a political decision by the Bush, admi uh, Bush administration to uh, basically uh, uh, attack Iraq and take over, and it was for oil. President Bush, in the second meeting after being elected, he they presented papers to them saying that they would like to attack Iraq. And everybody was shocked in the American administration. There are many generals who, when they learned about it, were shocked. So it seems that President Bush came from the beginning with the idea that he wanted to attack Iraq. And oil was one of the main concerns, is to take over oil. What really is bothering to me and to many others, uh, and I said that to many American officials when we met later on, even after 2003. Iraq was ready to cooperate, and we wanted to sell oil. We wanted to build the country. Uh, as far as 9-11, uh, Iraq was completely against Al-Qaeda, and Saddam Hussein was completely against Al-Qaeda, and we, the government in general, was against Islamic uh, any kind of Islamic fanaticism. It was not allowed alone because the Ba'ath Party was a party that was secular and uh, did not believe in any sectarian or uh, Islamic uh, attitudes. It seems that there was some force, somebody pushing behind. They just wanted to destroy Iraq and they did it. I know by experience because I was in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as ambassador and a member of a committee that was dealing with the Security Council, implementing Security Council resolutions. So we invited all ambassadors to go for, we, it was during Eid al-Adha, the main Islamic uh, feast, and we spent four days, we visited every uh, palace in Baghdad, in Al Thar area, where the Al Thar uh, Dam, in Tikrit, we went and saw every palace, and they checked everything, and they could find nothing at all. With us, we had Doctor uh, Amr Saadi, who was then the Minister for Industrial uh, Military Industries, I believe. And I asked him specifically, I said, look, they're doing all of this. Do we have anything? And we were talking privately, I mean, as two officials in the government. And he said, we have nothing left anymore. And we've been presenting Echaos with every fact. The problem, he said, is that they just simply don't want to believe it. They just don't want to accept it. They are under American pressure to keep on saying that, no, they have to keep on looking, they have to find something, etc., etc. They were just looking for a pretext. Things are much worse than it was. We could have built really a real democracy if Bremer had not gone in and, uh, you know, dissolved the army and dissolved the party. There is not one new hospital no roads, no schools are built. It is a complete mess. Families are shattered. The social fabric is shattered. Really, a crime and a genocide has been uh, done. That has to be corrected.